Yeah, yeah too right. I've been <laughs> fanboying you hard actually on uh, same on social media. Yeah, just because like <laughs> it's all so like relatable, like pallets and sleepers and. You, do you know what I mean? It's not like a fest jump oh. where you can't work out how big it is or you can't work out anything. It's just like pure bike skill on something that you can understand. Mm. Yeah, it's, I've, I've been enjoy, I've been enjoying it. It's been uh, I mean, pallets are kind of our bread and butter learning, aren't they? When you're when you're yeah. growing up, so it's um, it's been fun just have been sort of forced into riding on that kind of setup and just going out and mucking about. Yeah, so. definitely. It's uh, yeah, you've been dude. Some of the content you guys are pumping out, so good, killing it, absolutely killing it. Yeah, it's. it's I think it's been. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you've spoken about it a million times on this, but it's been. That's been cool getting so much bike time. Yeah. Time in the last week, well, because it's. I've missed it the last two winters. I've had. I've been injured, so I kind of missed out on my own, kind of time that I normally get to kind of ride for myself. So it's. Uh, yeah yeah so you, i'm definitely get, get my fill <laughs> you've killed it in this pandemic haven't you because you so you've rented a spot with the boys right yeah that's right i mean all, all my you could kind of see it with the way everything was going uh pre-lockdown and then um basically my some of my can, uh, projects got put on or postponed so uh we kind of headed up north and uh yeah, we've managed to kind of be here for the last sort of twelve weeks or something like that. So, have you? so what do you do? Cool. Just Air, have you just like Airbnb a spot to hang out? Uh, I well, it wasn't Airbnb, but it was like a like a house. Um, myself, Duncan Shaw, and uh, a younger rider, Rory Semple. Um, yep. We kind of moved up here, uh, and the the area we're in has just got miles of trails and um, kind of like not the kind of local spot in the area but it's it's kind of off the beaten track so it's so pretty nice you know I've just been putting the miles in the e-bike and uh riding yeah. the trials bike loads in the in the driveway so pretty so good. when when did you make the call that you had to get out of glasgow right well i mean as soon as i saw it coming i mean really i don't know it's a, it's a tricky one to talk about because obviously there's there's sort of controversy about getting out of the city but yeah the last place I wanted to get locked down was in the flat in Glasgow. Um, I mean, I lived in quite a busy flat there with, uh, you know, like two of my flatmates are journalists for the BBC um, who are going to be working from home. Um, Ali, he's also he's he's been down in uh, he's been down in the flat in Glasgow um, with his girlfriend there. So it's kind of mm. meant that we've all had space. But I mean, we lucked out big time with this place. It's just been kind of almost a bit of a dream setup really so yeah so where do you get cool. all the sleepers from and the pallets by the way do you have to order them in uh, yeah we just bought we end up we end up buying a bunch of uh pallets um i think about 20 of them the, pa the pallets were pretty cheap but i think it were about 200 quid uh post or delivery kind of thing so um, <laughs> well and then uh one of my friends uh nash masson he runs a bike shop uh, up near boat garden um which happens to have like a rail, uh, like an old uh, steam railway set up next to it. So, we've borrowed some sleepers from outside his shop and a couple from the yard, and we'll put them back afterwards. No flower beds getting made out of these bad boys. So. <laughs> oh, it's the dream setup. The dream. It is. It is oh, such a good idea. Sleep, sleep, sleepers are class. Just the weight of them, they're just so sort of sturdy and, um, yeah, it's pretty good. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm loving it. Good. Loving what you guys are doing. So, what's the plan? Are you staying up there for a while? Yeah, I mean, forever. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, who knows what the, the deal is? I mean, uh, Scotland, we're still a little bit behind you guys, I think. Mm -hmm. Even um, the um, government's quite conservative up here as well. So, um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. You know, I think it seems that things like productions, like friend Robbie Mead, is kind of been working. Uh, on a few things recently and it seems like kind of bits and pieces like that are kind of firing up again but yeah i can't imagine really being sort of traveling around too much in the, in the next few weeks at least so nah yeah. man no nah, same same yeah we spoke about it loads obviously on here but it's definitely uh i think we're going to be home for a little while longer aren't we that's for sure mm -hmm. yeah i think it'll be good once, once the floodgates open i reckon it'll be amazing like like tourist boards will just like want people to come and do yeah. stuff and yeah they'll make it as easy as physically possible i think mm. yeah for sure i mean i think there's going to be that tricky 
there's going to be this tricky in between where, or well, like we're in at the moment, where everyone's thinking of trying to put events on during these times, which is obviously everyone's got to try to make a living. But I think there's going to be a lot of um, uncertainty. I mean, I suppose that goes without saying, but yeah, you know, you, you can make all the plans you want, but the reality is it's probably likely not to happen the way you're imagining it. But um, I've got a lot of stuff in the in the pipeline for the towards the end of the year so hopefully that will uh come right. off yeah 